Okay, Tex Murphy. Pandora Directive. The first of the not weird Tex Murphy games. By weird, I mean those. Well, the first two. This was the third one. Intro. So, they found it again, have they? I thought we'd taken care of it. The uh, forces of evil are persistent, sir. I'm getting too old for this. Who have we got lined up to deal with this problem? Uh, Murphy, sir. Oh, no, not Murphy. I'm afraid so, sir. What about Spade or Marlowe? Uh, dead, sir. Isn't there anyone else? Sorry, sir, he's next on the list. Well, I suppose we'll have to make do. Knowing Murphy, he's going to need help. A lot of help. I'll check the archives and get back to you, sir. News of the day. As the Second World War enters its final days, Allied forces are on the march. The troops of the Western Alliance are occupied with the dangerous duty of ferreting out the remaining pockets of Nazi resistance. The storming of Berlin has crushed the heart of German opposition and sent remnants of the Fuhrer's troops scurrying into the dark reaches of the Black Forest. The Germans have vowed to fight to the last man in their quest for world domination. But their days are numbered, with Adolf Hitler dead and the once dreaded SS disbanded. The Allies have exposed the workings of the Nazi war machine and found it festering with ancient blood cults whose rituals and ceremonies are too astonishing and barbaric to detail. Allied forces will not rest until the last cult member has been revealed and captured. I don't remember attacks from taking place during the Second World no War. No pestilence has ever been so fatal or so hideous. Blood was its avatar and its seal, the redness and horror of blood. And yes, sadly, these videos are going to be tiny compared to the rest because, well, mid-90s. Apparently, The Undertaker. And blue thing that's clearly not totally a graphical effect and is totally real. Have random sort of famous people. Or person. I don't think there's anyone else that recognizable. Besides James L. Jones, but that's just his voice. So it doesn't really count. Also funny how they don't actually credit Chris Jones, who plays Tex Murphy in the beginning. Well, as the character anyway. They credit him as director, I guess. In the moonlight, New San Francisco sparkles like a chunk of cubic zirconium, an island of hollow beauty surrounded by a red sea of radiation. Five million souls drowning in gamma rays. Some lucky people have a natural immunity to genetic mutation caused by the radiation. I'm one of them. Most of them live in the new city, but I don't. I live among the unlucky souls, the mutants and the destitute and the wreckage of old San Francisco. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a private detective. Or at least I used to be. Since my marriage hit the rocks, I haven't done much of anything. I went out tonight for the first time in a week, but all I ended up doing was spending the last of my money on a bottle of cheap bourbon. Now it's past midnight, and I'm staring out of the window of my office on the second floor of the Ritz Hotel. Just like me, the Ritz used to be something. Now it's just another grimy building in a rundown part of town. And I'm almost out of bourbon. My God, Murphy, you look like hell. Really hit bottom, didn't you? 
Oh, I usually don't look this bad. I forgot to take my Geritol this morning. Mm. So, you want a drink? I saved my first one to have with you. No, thanks. I've been dry for eight years now. Yeah, one morning I just looked in the mirror and decided I needed to make a few lifestyle changes. Quit smoking, quit drinking. Now I'm getting out of the business. Yep, I'm gonna move to the tropics and retire in a nice secluded island with a tribe of beautiful young women. You're getting out of the business? I guess that means the end of the world must be around the corner because you are the detective. I can't imagine you doing anything else, especially not running around an island with a bunch of nubile women in a loincloth. No, I can imagine it. I've been thinking about it for years now. Yeah. You know how it is. Lonely. Underappreciated. Dangerous. I haven't had a decent night's sleep in 38 years. I tell you, I'm working on a case right now, and that's going to be my last one. Oh. Well, how about me? How about you, Tex? How's life treating you? Bad as it looks? <laughs> well, it depends. What day is it anyway today? Saturday? Well, Saturdays aren't too bad. It's normally Thursday by the time I get really suicidal. <laughs> so what is it you wanted? Just come by to sprinkle a little salt into the uh, open wounds of my pathetic life? No, 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 Tex, you got me all wrong. <laughs> yeah, just because you turned me in and got me suspended and humiliated me in front of my peers, you sold me out. <laughs> but that's all in the past. See, I quit hating you for that weeks ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, like I said, I'll be leaving soon. And I didn't want to go with any loose ends dangling there to bother me in my golden years. <sighs> hey, don't worry about me. When you tossed me out of the agency, it was the best thing that ever happened. Digging through dumpsters and sleeping in abandoned speeders. You helped me learn a great lesson. Because no matter how bad things are, they can always get worse. So what happened to you? I heard you were doing pretty well there for a while. Did I help a job on that Martian memorandum case? What's your problem? You one of those people can't live with success? Huh? Well, I can live with it. I'm just afraid of commitment. Now, you tell me something. Why wouldn't you talk to me 15 years ago? I was a stupid kid back then. Could have tried to understand why I told the ethics board what I did. I mean, I understand now that I was out of line and I made a mistake, but why'd you cut me off like that? Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a P.I. And never, ever betray your friends. Now, friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them. They're a precious commodity to people like me and you. Now listen, before I go, I came here with a warning. I heard your name mentioned in connection with a case that I'm working on, and you stay out of it. If you don't, somebody's gonna find you floating in the bay with a hole in your head. I don't need any more strain on my conscience. You know, frankly, I'm pretty insulted. Because I'm a pretty damn good detective. And I can take care of myself, thank you. No! <laughs> Let's remember what I said, Tex. Got no idea what kind of people we're dealing with here. Just keep out of my way. I'll send you a postcard. Oh, the random... Slapstick bullshit of Tex Murphy. For some reason it works. Also, unlike this button. Or any of these buttons, apparently. Uh, that's problematic. Maybe if I tab out. There we go. I don't know why that was a thing. It's not my name. Why is there anything... Why is that even on there? I literally installed this like an hour ago. And I haven't even so played it. they found it again, have oh. 
I didn't realize the intro played that way, too. But it was one of those games where you actually had to play the intro by itself. So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. Made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. And yeah, one thing that's kind of crappy about these is how small the window is. And yeah, you have to go... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. <laughs> and you have to go into the that mode to move around and then come out of it to look around. It's kind of irritating. And also the mouse sensitivity is ridiculous, even though it's a set on medium. Jesus. But yeah, I got this on GOG, so that's why it actually works. Okay. I think it does have a momentum kind of thing with it. My phonograph's an old family heirloom. I love to play the classics. Cool and the Gang, Peaches and Herb. But yeah, I, I, I think it, I think the, this mode is actually momentum based. Because I'm moving to the left. Whoa. Okay, I apparently W doesn't. Oh boy. Because <laughs> I I recently played Tesla Effect, which is the new yeah God, the most recent one, and you don't move with solely the mouse. You move with the keyboard, which makes so much more sense. Like you can use the keyboard and the mouse at the same time, so you don't have to worry about. Toggling things, which, uh, I think a medium on walking speed just in case. I don't think there's any way to make it like the other interface. Okay, yeah, so I keep pushing W because I keep thinking I actually have to walk, but I think, okay, uh, the arrows are look up and down, that's kind of weird, but. Oh boy, mail. It works. Oh boy, mail. Okay, just pick it up. Alright. The inventory is kind of irritating because it does this, but... Oh sweet, searcher gift certificates. Sixteen thousand is a whole other one free cosmetic job. Ooh, I could get a boob job for free. What is the purpose of any of these? Is there a purpose of any of these? A pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. Well, I think we're about to commit credit card fraud. Why not? Uh, electronic shop, yeah. Let's... Looks like we're gonna be committing credit card fraud. Okay, this is slightly better, but it's still terrible. I feel like there's something there now. That hutch holds a life's worth of knickknacks, patty wax, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this walking mode is going to be a pain to get used to. But. Yeah. Crimelink computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's personal file. Oh boy. I think I can actually use this now even though I don't have anything. It's not even his software. Well, that, that's interesting.
A uh, hundred possible matches. Really, a hundred plus possible matches for someone who weighs under 80 pounds and is six feet tall. I, I sincerely hope you're kidding. Hair color, blonde. Oh, how many eyes? I have no idea, no idea, no idea. Good God, I forgot about this. Yeah, this is very... Yeah, this is going to be very complicated when I actually have to use that. At some point, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, I just opened the top one. Um, hold on. Yeah, this interface is very, very painful to use. As usual, it's a mess. It's not horrid. This here is my favorite desk drawer. <laughs> it's not horrible, but... As I recall, you... Oh, boy. You do a lot of spinning around that you don't want to be doing. It's so uncontrollable sometimes because of the momentum effect. And then you have to look down to find certain things. My old reliable faux oak desk. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I want to open the bottom drawer. Oops. What the hell? Left clicking twice brings up the... See? Like that. But yeah, left clicking twice apparently brings up the movement. That's kind of weird. But it works, I guess? Because otherwise it's spacebar. Oh god, and yeah, pixel hunting is a thing. A fun thing you have to do in this one. Uh, I gotta move forward more because I can't quite see that. If it's even worth seeing. As usual, it's a mess. Nope. But yeah, god. I forgot, I forgot these were, like, this bad with the controls. Because they're good games, but they're... The controls just make them a pain. I have a phone somewhere. Which I don't really need. Oh, god. I'm trying to find an envelope, I guess. Okay, turn. To, no, wait, what's over here? Just random tiny little things you're not sure if they're important no or not. trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Hey! Hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't, don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh my hell. <laughs> no matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that too. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those days. Yeah. And that, that's the thing, you're supposed to lose the stupid gun. Or well, I don't know if you're supposed to lose it, but it's not actually Oh my god, stop moving. Yeah, the momentum thing is a pain in the ass, because you... You don't stop going forward for several seconds. Okay. Ah, and you gotta, like, cut out of it just to stop. Now, oh. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well-tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like, and they stay with it. I think that was supposed to be a closet. I guess they changed... I think they changed the apartment. Or his room. In later games. Oh, yeah. And there's the nice exits. The air outside feels thick, like I'm breathing through a pair of dirty gym Exits, gym which is just a 2D picture. It's a picture. high radiation day. Most everyone will be staying inside. But I need to hunt for some work. I always like to start the day with the traditional P.I. breakfast. Mmm, <coughs> that hits the spot. Now I want a cigarette. But yeah, you're kind of better off, like, looking slightly down wherever you go. Uh, and yes, dance instructor. 
Tex Murphy to dance and stuff. Oh boy, this is hell. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You're spinning too much. And now you're looking down a little too much. Okay. But yeah, that's just like... So many random things. Well, and then there's the situation there where they're not actually garbage cans. They're literally 2D models of garbage cans. Okay, come on. I just want to go across the street. I'll say, yeah, oh boy, stop. I'll say, yeah, they added a building in the later one, because there's... That used not to be the end. Or that used to be the end, because there's an old one, but the new one, there's a building between the newsstand and that. Chelsea Bando's the kind that could hold her own with anyone, but she has a way of turning my knees to jelly. She's a mutant, just like everyone else in this part of town, but she's a real beauty. Well, hello, stranger. And, of course, we get the dialogue options. Tell me, gorgeous, has the new True Detective come in yet? Yeah, but you gotta pay for it this time. Hey, when you finish a magazine, it is in no condition to sell. Messed up. <laughs> You're a riot, Chelsea. You ought to be doing stand up. No, 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 no. I, look, I do enough stand up work right here. So, can <laughs> I help you with something? And then now we can ask about every stupid fucking thing we have. Rook acts like a tough guy, but he's a softy. Just don't tell him that to his face. Okay, I was curious if that actually... That's going to be kind of an annoyance, I think, because it I guess it doesn't change the color or anything. So, yeah, you don't know if you've changed it or not. I love Louie, but his friendliness doesn't fool me. He's a sharp one. He knows everything that's going on in this neighborhood. Franny's a live wire. Either she or Sal is going to do time for killing the other one. I have never seen a couple fight like they do. I forget who those people are. It's been ages since I played these. Sal's a handful. I mean, he's a nice guy, but I don't know, I feel kind of naked when he gives me the eye. That's probably what he is, wants. Luckily, Ardo seems to like me. I mean, if I were on his bad side, I'd be tempted to relocate. He could crush a Subaru with one hand. Okay. Wish I could help you there, Tex. Alright, I guess you don't know that person. Okay, well, hold on. Do I actually need anything from here? I don't know, I don't think so. Ah, oh, stupid mouse. No, I thought that might have been something, but whatever. All right, let's slowly inch our way to the door here. <laughs> oh, these controls, man. Rook Garner runs this pawn shop. He's a crusty old World War III vet with a face like a raven and a tongue like a butcher's cleaver. I feel like this would have worked better with a controller, even that it might have been designed with that idea. What do you want, Miffy? Um... Looks like someone didn't get enough fiber in his breakfast this morning. Shut up, Murphy. The last thing I need right now is a yappy mouth wise guy. Hmm. You know, I'll bet you haven't had enough coffee today either. Look, Murphy, I've had a bad enough morning without you doing your comic routines. Last night, someone broke into my pawn shop. I don't usually have anything of great value, but yesterday, I gave out a fair amount of cash for an extremely valuable diamond bracelet. I wonder if this... I'm not sure this is the same guy that's in the lighter one. It's... you can't really tell because it's... What, 15 plus years? So it's hard to actually guess by their voice because they can easily sound different in that amount of time. How much is a fair amount of cash? In this case, $8,000. You know, Rook, I've got a bridge I'd like to hawk. You're a riot, Murphy. Do you mind if I continue? The bracelet was pawned by a young girl named Emma Nimpton. She said she hated to hawk a family heirloom, but had no choice. She said she would reclaim the bracelet in a month. Well, since the bracelet was worth ten times the eight thousand I loaned her, it was a good deal for me. 
Mm. Did you get any other information from this Emma Nimpton? She left a phone number. I called her this morning, but the line is disconnected. Yeah, he kind of doesn't sound like him exactly. But I think he also doesn't look like him. Cause Sounds like my vast experience is a PI. It's hard to tell because they haven't gotten very close to him. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. The I mean, he looks no more help. mutiny than he does in the later one. Robbed in this town. I'd appreciate your help. I'm not a rich man, but if you find the bracelet, I'll owe you a few favors, which could come in handy. Come back here and I'll show you where they broke in. Rook takes me out back and shows me where the burglar broke in. The back window is busted out and the latch is ripped. It's a sloppy job. As I start my investigation, I'm looking for information to enter into my crime link computer back at the office. One thing's for sure, Emma Nimpton won't be one of the suspect's names. Every P.I. worth his salt knows that's not my name spelled backwards. Oh, you're a terrible person. All right, well, since we're already looking at it. Well, obviously, the window was broken from the outside. Yes, yes, it was. Um, oh, that's just the shop again. That was this obvious looking thing. Looks like a shoe print is outlined in that sticky pool of something resembling chocolate. Footprints about a size 14. Oh, look, something we should probably remember, size 14. Even though we have almost nothing else to go on. That, that, that's not a real trash can. That's a shame. Alright, let's... So you can usually tell what things are probably real because they're all like all this crap is clearly two dimensional and oh boy stop and doesn't and clearly isn't oh boy isn't part of the or is part of oh boy oh boy come on it's clearly part of just assets to add it and do it oh my god that's not where I want to go. Like, yeah, even that. That one's closed, but you can't open it because... It's not one of those. Boy, this is gonna be... This is gonna be rough. Honestly. If only there were, like, another way to control it where I didn't have to use the mouse momentum. I might look that up at some point. Okay, that's... I want to look at the trash. Like Rook always says, you can cut corners here and there, but there's nothing like a quality garbage can. <laughs> and there's a thing. Hmm. Looks like a key of some kind. Okay. Yeah, that's a key. Doesn't. I'm not going to comment on it at all. Well, I'm going to. I thought I did something. Yeah, I'm going to look into trying to get this to control better, somehow. So, yeah. Oh, well. 